What up, YouTube? Big Fat Stack here. Um, I just want to make a little uh, set announcement. I'm going to try to do this set. This is all I have of them. It's the 1975 Minis. So, well, that light's just killing me. That's better. But, uh, nothing special in here, I don't think. I don't really know much of the players. I mean, I obviously knew, like, the big names. But, uh, like I said, these cards are pretty much hammered. But it'd just be really cool to fill this set. I'd really like to do it. It's the minis. Pretty cool. I like it. But, uh, you probably see my background's a little different. I finally hit my first one of one. I was pretty excited. Really, really excited about that. That's cool. Awesome. Awesome one. Awesome hit right there. I think it's the only one ever made. Yeah, it's one of one. It says right there. Yeah, one of one. So, that's pretty sweet. Um, you know. I was surprised when I opened the pack and hit that. It was crazy. It's one of my other favorite cards. I played a lot of poker. Probably, you know, Big Fat Stack. That's my online poker name back in the day. I used to do really well. And she's from Portland, Oregon, Annie Duke. I hit that at Alan Ginter last year. That was pretty cool stuff. You might have seen uh, this David Ro or, sorry, Dave Robbins. <laughs> what am I talking about? Jackie Robinson in a different video. I believe it's from like 1958. It's a postcard. Pretty sick. You know, the background looks a lot different. I'm going to have to do something with that ugly wall. But, there's uh, my Arnold Palmer. 9.5. With a 10 auto. I love that card. That'll never go anywhere. It's probably one of my favorite cards ever. Got to have the, uh, got to have the sweet tea. For sure. And my Harper Auto. And we'll pan back. I've been doing a little bit of work. You know. Uh, shut this off. Do that. Those are my boxes. These are all sealed. They're just older stuff that I've gotten. Actually, that was in that big, huge set that was pretty much... I mean, it was given to me. It's just crazy to still think about it. Wax packs. And we got a bunch of guys up there I'm working on care packages for. Have a bunch of helmets, mini helmets from Dairy Queen when I was younger. And then, uh, I don't know, just thought I'd show that. Kind of getting, you know, set up a little different, trying to. So, uh, that's what I, I've been doing. Just a bunch of madness in here. Please don't mind the mess. It's kind of, like I said, it's a work in progress. So this is what I've been working on. It isn't what I thought it was going to be. I told uh, Fight on 5-2. I was going to do, like, reverse American flags. But I just didn't have the wood and to be honest <laughs> that wood it's all scrap wood it's an old bed frame <laughs> I know it sounds pretty ghetto but I just thought why go buy the wood if I had I had this old bed laying out you know in the garage and I was like you know what there's wood in that I'm gonna take that thing apart and I'm gonna make my shelf so that's what I did I uh, made my shelf Put my Boston stuff over here. I call you shrimp skis. It's my Wade Boggs stuff. Pretty sick stuff. You know what, I'm going to kill this light and see if that makes a difference. I 
Uh, not a good difference, that's for sure. Well, I don't know. These are my autos. Rookie card graded. Got that in a trade from Philly Man Cave. Get a closer of my autos of Boggs. I got uh, some of those in a trade. Some were given to me. All the way up here, there's some Roger Clemens. 88 in a cello pack. There's his rookie card, graded 8. Jim Long, Borg, auto, an autograph card. Bobby Doerr, Roger Clemens auto. Sick stuff. Up there is my 50 or 48 baseball mitt. That's a uh, Murray Wills I just hit out of a group break from Alan Ginter. There's that other postcard. It's the Wrecking Crew. I didn't have anything to keep them really up there, so I used that little miniature uh, Frank Thomas bat. And honestly, this thing is a little higher than I thought it was going to be. So I've got my vintage stuff up there. The Warren Spawn. The Willie Mays. Ted Williams. I have some more Ted Williams. I'm going to have to get them out and find them. Then I'm working on my nameplate. I've got <laughs> part of it. I've got the stack. I need some other letters. So if you guys come across any of those, let me know. I got my Brett Favre stuff. There's a picture. His rookie card. We'll go down here. And these are all of his rookie cards. There's three relic cards I own from different sets. I actually picked up in trades. I didn't have any. This one right here. Not even a trade. This was in a care package. My bad. From uh, ISU guy. 2011. And these two are actually trades that I had made with Philly Man Cave. And there's some other rookie cards. Sorry about the light, guys. Just terrible. I need to get a light hung from the ceiling. And this is a uh, this is my only MMA piece of anything. Hudson Fan 15. You might like this. This is Randy Couture's autograph. I live near Portland, Oregon. So they had a Rumble of the Roseland. It was a small little thing. And I got to meet Randy Couture. I actually talked to him for like 20 minutes. He was like the most down to earth guy. Crazy cool. Um, they, he, he's actually from Gresham, Oregon. So really cool thing, you know. So I just thought that was cool. It's the only piece of MMA anything I have, no cards, just this. But it's pretty sick, it's his auto, so I attended that. He was there promoting, helping one of his friends out trying to get this thing launched, and they still have him today. So that's pretty cool. Then, uh, my little helmet. You guys are gonna think I'm really weird. If you guys can see that. That's a fishing pole. But it's not just any fishing pole. I uh, I had it custom built by Lama Glass to match the Green Bay colors. Let's see if we can take this over here. This is the most uh, all around the place I've ever been with doing my videos, guys. Sorry about that. So there it is, Llama Glass, Green Bay Packers colors, that was a pretty sick idea, I was like I'm doing it, it is pretty spendy, but it's worth it. We do a lot of salmon fishing up here, steelhead fishing, 
in the gorge. So, uh, pretty cool stuff. You know, it was it was worth the time and money to have it done. And then I have, I'll be working on this a lot more. These are my rack packs I have. 86, 87, 88, 90. There's some hoops. I've got a bunch of hoops there. I think that's 1990. Or... Oh, 91, 92. Then we got some Bowman, 1990, 87, Don Russ, 88 Don Russ, a bunch of tops, 1990. And I just have some teams that I've were in boxes and stuff. They're just team sets. And then just lastly, man, this lighting is terrible. Just terrible. So this is my little homage to King Griffey Jr. Seattle's like three hours away from us. Um, like I said, I don't really PC him, but I have a bunch of cards of him. I did when I was younger, so this is like some, I don't know if you guys can see that. It, it moves. It's kind of cool. The highlight reel checklist, pretty cool stuff. Got a mini, a mini glove. Got his uh, original rookie, the jumbo rookie, and then we've got a little starting lineup guy. Then the team set with him on the front, and then. I guess the uh, the holy grail of my Ken Griffey Jr. Uh, PC. I don't know. Maybe I'll start PC in him. I don't know. It's pretty sick. Um, there it is. Ken Griffey Jr. Auto 9.5. Graded a 9.5. The auto is an 8, but oh well. He went off the sticker, so all bad. Oh well. But let's get back over here. See if I can get this figured out here. But again, I just wanted to show you guys some stuff. I know my videos are always so long, but again, this 1975 set, guys. Uh, if you guys know of any around or have any, these are the minis. I'd like to try to get the whole set of the minis. It's going to take a lot. I know it is. But that's what I have of them, and would love to try to finish this set. So, if any of you guys could hook me up with that, much appreciated. I've got like 10 or 11 care packages going out this next Friday. So, you guys look out for that. Well, none of you really know, I don't think. So, you'll see them. So, again, YouTube... Thanks as all thanks always, you know, you guys are always here for me. So looking forward to the next little chat. So peace out. Oh yeah, I forgot. As always, piff. Peace out, YouTube.